Good morning, I hope you're very well. This is Jamie here from Poodle Press and today is the second video of my series of videos when we're purely focusing on the WooCommerce product page and I'm gonna show you how to build this page that we're looking at here on the screen. Uh, so I saw a page a bit like this on an e-commerce e website, absolutely loved it. So I thought, wouldn't it be great to try and recreate this using WooCommerce? Uh, we're gonna be using the Gutenberg block editor to reconstruct this uh, page and two of our plugins, one called Woo Builder Blocks, which lets you construct your WooCommerce page uh, look using the Gutenberg block editor. And we're also gonna be using another plugin of ours called Gutenberg Pro, which lets you do really complex column layouts and things like that. Both those plugins of ours are commercial plugins, so they're not free. So if you're looking for free plugins, uh, this video isn't for you. But if you do wanna learn how to do some really cool advanced stuff using the block editor, I'm gonna show you how I built this product page. And here we go. Right, so the first thing you need to do is to put your information into the WooCommerce product as you normally would. So that's all I've done here. I've put my product title, I put a price, and I put a short description and a product image, just like you would um, in WooCommerce. Now I've already installed on this site those two plugins, Woo Builder Blocks, which lets you use the block editor to customize the product page. I've also um, installed a, the Gutenberg Pro plugin. That's gonna let us do some whizzy stuff with our columns. Uh, and you'll see over on the right here, I have my enable Woo Builder Blocks button. That's because we've added the Woo Builder Blocks plugin. So you'll have the familiar choices here. And again, I, I've got other videos where I dive into details on how you can use each of these choices, but I'm, I essentially wanna start my product page from scratch. So I click on that, and that will basically let me start to build this product page now using the Gutenberg block editor. So now we can use any blocks uh, within this page to construct it. Now we've built a whole bunch of blocks, which are called Woo Builder blocks, funnily enough, um, that let you reconstruct your product page. So we've, we've got all the blocks in here necessary for you to basically reconstruct your product page any way you like. So we've got a product title and a short description and an add to cart block and many more. But to start with, let's flip back here. What we wanna start here, we've got a two column layout. So we're actually gonna start by building the grid as it were. So we're gonna start this page by adding the columns block. So I'm gonna click on the blue sign, um, add block sign icon, and I'm gonna search for the columns block and I'm just gonna add that into my page. Okay, and then all I want to do here, because we've got two columns of equal width in the final design work that we're aiming for, I'm gonna select this option here, the 50-50. That's just gonna create two columns of equal width. And then we need to start to basically lay out this page. So this first column has this yellow background. Now normally when you add the columns block uh, within Gutenberg, you can't really, you, well, you can't add background colors to each column, you can do the whole columns. And this is where the Gutenberg Pro plugin comes in. So I'm gonna start here just by adding uh, the image within it. Now, I could add the product image block and bring my product image in, but for speed day, I'm just gonna bring an image in, which is my product image. And there we go. And if I click on the actual column now, can you see over on the right here, this is, this is where Gutenberg Pro comes in. This is where I can actually set the background color uh, for that particular column. Now you can't normally do this in the columns block at the moment uh, with the block editor. So it's just a question of you know choosing one of these colors or you can choose a custom color if you have your own, your own brand palettes that you want to use with that. Okay, so that's the first column sort of done. And then we've got the second column which has this green background, but can you also see how it's got some other stuff in it? So it's got a background image um, and it's also got obviously some product information here as well. So let's start to rebuild that. So I'm gonna start actually by adding um, the text in here, which is this stuff here, which is the product title, the price, and the short description. So I'm gonna click on the add new block and I'm gonna search for Woo Builder product title. And there it is. And I can just pop that in and that's gonna automatically bring in my product title in there for me. And then over on the right here, this is where I can customize that product title. So you can you can um, increase the font size and you can do things like center it. You can also change the font in here as well. So if you wanna change the font, um, you can change the font to any of the fonts, that's a bit crazy, but you can change the fonts to you know, any of these fonts that we provide uh, in WooBuilder blocks, which is kind of cool. And then, so that's my product title. And then underneath here, I've got the price, which again, 
is just a block. We've created a block called um, product price. Spelling will build wrong, which would help. Product um, price, that one there. That's going to bring the product price in. And all I'm going to do to start with with that one is I'm going to center it because I want this nice centered look over here. There's my product price coming in. And then finally, all we've got, actually we've got two more. We've got a short description. So let's go Woo Builder short description. Let's bring that in. That's going to automatically bring in my short description for me. And again, if I want to, I can align this, which I think I've done in my finished product. There's my short description. So we're kind of getting the layout how we want it. And then the final thing we've got on this page is my add to cart, which is, again, is just a block. Uh, now we've also added, can you see how this is this nice outline view? Uh, we have added a option to customize the add to cart block, uh, which is this option here, which is outline button and input. So you just tick that and that's going to give you that nice outline look. And you, again, you can change the colors of these. So if you've got a different background, you can change the color. And I'm just going to center that one like so. So we've kind of got the basic layout, but this has a background and also a background image. And again, this is where the Gutenberg Pro plugin comes in because that adds extra options into each column. So what we can do here is we can actually set a background image. Now I'm going to choose the same image, but, but uh, because I kind of want to reinforce the fact that that's the image. And then I can also set um, a background color and I can change the overlay over here. So you can get, you can just sort of fade it out so it's quite subtle, which is a really lovely, I think that's a really, really lovely effect. You can also change the focal point by dragging this focal point around here because we've set it as a background um, color, but also you can change it. You can change these to any colors you like, but I think that's closely what we've got here. So we're kind of getting there, but we've got this gap down here. Now again, by default, uh, the columns block with Gutenberg will give you that gap. And this is another setting that we've built into, <coughs> excuse me, into Gutenberg Pro, that we've given you some extra options where you can actually change um, the grid gap. Can you see we've got this columns gap option here. So for this, I'm just gonna remove it. But again, you can play with this. You know, you can do whatever you like with this. We've also added a, a really cool option in Gutenberg Pro where you can change the inner padding. And that's gonna pad the text out like so, can you see how it's just added a bit more breathing space around the text here, okay? So we're, we're pretty much there. There's a few other things we need to do here though, um, because you'll see uh, if I update this and view this, that it's not gonna be quite where we want it to be. It's kind of small, okay? It's the, it's the right proportions, but it's not, obviously not, it's not big enough. So we, there's a few extra options we built in to we'll build the blocks that let you do this. Um, and you'll see over on the right here, now this is currently only available in the beta, but it's gonna be um, released in the next week. And the date today is the 26th of May, 2021. So it's, it's depending on when you're viewing this video, it should be released. Uh, but you can do things in here like hide the header, hide the sidebar and hide the footer. Um, because this, I'm using the, the Astra theme and by default, the Astra theme will probably have a sidebar on your product pages. This is how you can remove that sidebar. A couple of other things we need to do though. We need to go back to columns here and go to columns block pro settings. And this is the key option, full screen. If, if I select that, and there we go, there's my product page that's now full width. Um, the other thing you could do if you wanna move this text over here on the right, what you can do here is we could above here add a little spacer block now a good trick on this, if you, if, you're, if you ever struggle to put blocks above other blocks, like I am in this case, what, what you can do is just add the block underneath it and then move it up to create that space. So the spacer block just lets you basically add um, vertical space between elements on the page. And there we go, there's my, uh, there's my finished product, which is this lovely two column layout with a background color this lovely um, sort of slightly opaque background here and my product title. So there we go, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found that useful. Uh, as I said, I'm gonna be doing more and more, more of these focused around specific product pages. Um, so if you wanna keep in touch, please feel free to um, hit the subscribe button. If you found this useful, it'd be great if you can give it a thumbs up as well because it just helps 
spread the word. So thank you so much and I shall see you soon.